So, a composting tire. You guys are probably wondering what a composting tire is. It, it's really simple to explain. It's just like a composting bin except for it's a tire. So, it's just a tire and yeah, that's all it is. Instead of a bin or a tub or whatever, it's a tire. But, uh, this one I have filled with grass and leaves and stuff. And this one's filled with food. I keep them separate because I want one to be a food composting tire. And I want the other one to be, uh, uh, like a grass and leaf compost. So, food compost and grass and leaf compost. So, they have different nutrients and stuff. And it will work around. So, I'm going to talk about why I have it as a why I have this as a tire, how it works, and how to start one, yeah. So I have it as a tire because it's not super wide, like, so it's not like 5x5, five five, it's like 3x3, three three. so it's not super wide, so it, it doesn't expand, like, all of the place, and so it doesn't take as long, and... It has all this area here. On, it has all this area here on the so sides. Super plugs. And, uh, crap. Um, it has lots of room and you can just fit tons of stuff in here. And, um, so, how a composting bin or tire works is, like, if you have it, if you have, like, a black bin or trash can or bucket or whatever, or a tire in my case, it it tracks the sun, it heats up heats up faster, it heats the tire up faster, it heats this the grass up faster, so it starts composting faster and it'll only take like six to nine months. Or in my case three years because I only have winter and um summer. Three months of summer, so yeah, it takes me like three years, so summer, summer, summer. Ooh, compost. <laughs> pretty much so uh but you can this will compost in the winter if you get like a blue black type something that uh tracks the sun and then whenever it snows just come out here brush it off and then it'll heat this up it'll be composting all winter and if you don't want to do that you don't have to i don't do that because when it snows it snows and the snow, it's not going anywhere. I ain't going to be able to push it off a tarp or anything. But this is a quick, fast way. Uh, this is a good way, not quick and fast. It's a good way to get compost. Nice organic compost with all the, and you know what's in it. And where it's made and everything. So you can just spread it all across your garden. But, uh, ooh, what was the other point I was going to talk about? Um. But yeah, a tire is also good because it's low to the ground, so it's not as noticeable as like a garbage can or a bin or like a wooden stall thing. Because it's low to the ground and all this grass just blocks it from coming here. And, oh uh, crap. Got a tick or something right there. Okay, but, um,. Oh, uh, crap, I forgot. Oh, yeah, Turn, turning your compost. You don't have to do this, but you should do this, because when you do this, it's spreading out the organisms, and it's composting all the grass and leaves and food and everything all at the same time, so you don't have, like, the top is all composted. You think it's all composted, because the top's all black and nice and rich, and then you go down a few inches, and then it's just green. It's, like, leafy and grassy and stuff down there. And you're like, oh, I don't have any compost down there, but I have some on the top. But if you turn it, just, like, water this a little bit. If it rains or whatever, if it doesn't rain within, like, a week, just water this a little bit here. And then flip it, make the center, go to the top, and the top, go to the center or the bottom. Just flip it, and then water a little bit more so it has even water distribution distribution and even sun distribu distribution and the, when you flip it the organisms go everywhere and when you start one of these you get some grass and lawn clippings and what some uh 
um, leaves, and then you stick them in here, and then you go get some, like, dirt or whatever, get some pre-composted stuff, Miracle Grow or whatever from your local, local, um, Walmart or, um, tractor supply or whatever, just get some of that, throw it in here, mix it up, get a little bit more, mix it up in here, and then put some on the top, or you just do it however you want, so then, there's already organisms in that soil, so then when you stick that in here, the organisms start acting right away instead of taking a few weeks to start acting. Which that few weeks could change a lot. So if you have, have them start acting like right away, it's a lot better. But if you don't, it's okay, you don't have to, but it's good. And when you flip this, you can just use a shovel or hands or whatever. But these tires are really good because these are old tractor tires and then those I just found those tires in the woods. But why am I keeping the food? I already went over this, but keeping the food and grass separate is just so I have compost I have composted food and composted grass and leaves and stuff. But I only have this much in here because all this stuff was moldy and all the stuff that's not moldy but we can't eat anymore or anything. I just grind up in a blender and give them to my worms in the worm worm bin so that's why I do that but with the food if it's only like a few inches thick you don't have to turn it and stuff but if it's like you know six inches thick or whatever like it's, there's a pretty good amount of it in there like seven pounds or so you can flip it and stuff if you want you you don't have to with food but with grass and leaves you know it's recommended highly recommended so, I went over how to, why I have tires, how to start it, um, how to do it in the winter. I'm trying to think of what I didn't go over. There's something else. Um, ah, crap. Um, I don't know what the something else was. There was something else, though. But, uh, yeah, went over that. Um, yeah, I'll just flip the grass for you guys, because it just... Rained, and I got this little, f my little flipper thing here. Oh yeah, I'm using my hands for this. I forgot, I have potatoes in here. I don't want to flip any on the potatoes. I'll do that when they grow up a little bit more, but I have potatoes in here. That's that right there, I think. But yeah, look at all that. That right there, that's pretty good. So that's the soil that I stuck in here, I think. Yeah, that's the soil that I stuck in here. But some of this is already being composted. Look at, look at that. Like all this green stuff over here is what I put in here like a few days ago. So that's why it's not composted as much. But look at that. There's a worm right there. There's all kind. There's worms in this already. I didn't stick any in here to be getting with. But there's worms. Look at that. Another worm. <sighs> but. Like, I started this like a month ago, or a month and a half ago, and it's doing great. Worms are loving this. Like, seriously. This is the best way to get organic and homemade soil in like nine months. There's another worm right there. This is the best way to do it. Um, I would really recommend doing this. If you don't want to like do any of this, um, then you don't really like gardening. I just have to say that because, like, if you don't have the time, I get it. But it doesn't take so that long. You know, like if you're cutting your grass already, just put a bag on the back of it, cut it, take five seconds, come over here, dump in it dump it in a tire or a pile or whatever. And, it, you know, it's fast, easy. It doesn't take as long. Oh, here's one of my potatoes. This is like the root stout method, pretty much. This one isn't growing, though. That guy is going in the bin. Alright. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, how to start, how to make, how to... Stain. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys.
but, oh yeah, um, no, uh, wait, crap, I can't remember, um, I have another thing for you guys, I'll think of it here, maybe, but, if I don't, I'll probably say in the next video, yeah, I can't think of it, I'm not gonna make you guys wait any longer and just not think of it, but, yeah, that's all I have for you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I saw that you guys liked the last video of my warm composting bin because I got two new subscribers from that I was so excited thank you for subscribing it, it was just awesome I was like holy I, holy crap I was just like freaking out and stuff like that never happened before so yeah you guys liked the last video I hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And since I can't think of it now, I'll tell you in the next video, which is going to be a, the garden update video, which is this my this is my potatoes right here. But I'll do it in a garden update video or in the food plot update video. But the food plot's doing okay. I haven't really checked on it in, a few, in like a week or so. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.